Hello and welcome to the lesson on human reproduction system. Uh, the reason why this video is embedded in the Google form is because there are three videos to, you need to watch. This is just the first one. Um, watch the video to find out the question and the options. Select the correct answer and uh, to be able to see the next video. Once you have answered all three questions correctly, you will be able to enter your name and submit it to me your name and class and submit it to me and there is also a secret challenge at the end of the last video and you must submit the quiz and complete the challenge before you come to class All right. now the objective for today's lesson is to um, be, understand the process of reproduction in human beings so let's begin now in part one we ask an important question why do living things reproduce so what do you think will happen if everyone stopped having babies? What do you think? That's right, if everyone stopped having babies, there won't be any more human beings left eventually, and we would become what we call extinct. So key concept is living things reproduce to ensure the continuity of their kind. Now because it takes a female and a male to reproduce, all of us have a mother and a father. If your mother and father reproduce more than one baby, you will have siblings, right? And this can be shown using what we call a family tree. So I'm just going to give you an example and I'm going to use my family as an example. So this is my family tree. This is me and that's my wife. Together we produce three boys. This is my oldest son, Matthias, second one, Aaron, and my third one, Daniel. So you notice that for males, we represent using a square and for females, we represent using a circle. Okay, so here's my first question. Why do living things reproduce? Select the correct answer in the Google form to get to part two. See you in part two.